Good morning, this is Enomel Magkalas, your subject teacher for Information and Communications Technology, Computer Hardware Servicing 9. Our lesson for today is about techniques for diagnosing computer systems. What I need to know After going through this module, you are expected to learn about Number 1 Rules in Diagnosing Computer System Diagnostics Procedure for ATX Power Supply Failure Plus Simple Solutions to Common Problems Here are the rules in Diagnosing Computer System Number 1 Know the facts Educate oneself on all aspects and operation of computer parts Continuous learning on computer technology. Number two, use your common sense. Number three, focus on field replaceable units. Identify the different types of FRU that can be used for replacement or subassembly. Number four, proper assembly and disassembly. Plus, factors causing computer failures and defect. Here are the factors causing computer failures and defects. People wear. Untrained personnel could have damaged programs in personal computer. Firmware. Programs or software burnt in chips may be corrupted. Software. Corrupted operating systems would cause the system to fail. Hardware Defective hardware components would lead to computer malfunction. Hardware conflicts and viruses can hinder your computer's performance. Electrostatic discharge or the ESD Electrostatic discharge can easily damage sensitive components in your computer. Electricity Incoming supply from AC outlet must be regulated. Power surge can damage computer units. Problem isolation Problem isolation is a detective work in which you need to determine what is out of the ordinary by making detailed observation of what is not working normally and record any information as you proceed. The information you will be able to gather will help diagnose your computer. You need to observe wisely. Look for any abnormalities in the unit. Any change in smell or foreign smell. Listen to all the sounds and error codes. Component Isolation This section will aid in determining components in your system which are failing. First, most systems have three major components, monitor, system unit, and printers. Some have multiple external devices. To troubleshoot, you need to isolate major components which are failing to operate. Diagnostics Procedure for ATX Power Supply Failure Number 1. Determine whether or not the power comes on. Number 2. Check the switch operation with a digital voltmeter on the continuity or resistance setting. Third, check the pins if the corresponding voltage are properly regulated to the motherboard. And last, Replace the power supply unit if defective. Here is an example of flowchart for ATX power supply repair. Things to consider 1. Always check the cables. Many computer problems are related to an issue in the cables and connections. The easiest first step you can take to troubleshoot most problems 
is to check all related cables and connections. Isolate the problem. If possible, try to isolate the problem. For example, if you can get the cursor to move on the screen, try to determine if the issue is with the mouse. If you have an extra mouse, you can alternate devices to see if the one plug is the issue or use the arrow keys on the keyboard to help determine if the mouse is the source of the problem. When trying to isolate the problem, only make one change at a time. Take notes about error messages. If your computer gives you error message, be sure to write down as much information as possible. If the basic troubleshooting steps don't work, you need the information you have taken. Remember the steps you've taken or write them down. Once you start troubleshooting, you will want to remember what you have done so you don't repeat yourself. If you can remember it, then write it down. If you end up asking someone for help, it will be much easier if they know exactly which steps you've taken. Thank you for listening. This has been Sir O.